All right, guys, this is Trey with Total Dust of Gaming. I'm gonna give you a deck profile today on my new 100 Demons deck. Um, this is all the new stuff from uh, Evolution and Mutation. Um, overall, I find the decks very fun. In my opinion, it's much better than the original way that you had to build the deck. Uh, this one's a lot more toolboxy and a lot less reliant on Yami Ghetto itself. Uh, but we're gonna get into it. Right so we're gonna start with the buddy. Um, the buddy is the uh, Guiding Demon uh, Dionys. Uh, he's the uh, Dungeon Enemy Demon Lord, 100 Demons, size 1, 3, 1, 1. When it enters the field, put top two cards, or no, I'm sorry, put up the two cards from your drop zone in your gauge. So it's just like free gauge, when you call it. Uh, you always, I mean, you're going to have to play stuff ahead of time, of course, but like, it's it's good. Um, this is the new box topper flags for any of you guys that haven't seen the flag, so I like this flag over the old secret one that I had. But um, all right, so we're gonna get into it real quick. Um, so let's see, we're gonna start with zero. So size zeros play four copies of the hasted evolution Yami Ghetto. This is our one zero one with the counter ability activate during the final phase. You may search your deck for a size three monster with Yami Ghetto in the same and call it by paying its call cost. Uh, you can only use the ability, uh, shuffle your deck, and you can only use the ability once per turn. And then it has the Thundermine ability of when an item on the opponent's field attacks, if this card is in the soul of a monster, deal one damage to your opponent. This ability only activates once per turn. Uh, the bottom ability does stack. So does the top one, I believe, because they're they're not name state abilities. Uh, you have to double check me on that one, but I know the bottom ability definitely stacks. Um, so you get two, three of this guy in the soul, and it's just they swing with an item, they lose three life. It's just really good. Um, so that's it for the zeros. Um, we play. So moving on to size ones, we play four copies of the uh, buddy. Uh, we went over him earlier. Uh, there's that. Then for our other size ones, we play three copies of Soaring Flame Lindworm. Worm. Uh, it's weird. He's a size one, three, one, one. Uh, when he enters the field, I can discard 100 demons from my hand. It's monster, spell, item, whatever. Um, if I do, draw a card and I gain a life. And then if this card is in the soul of a monster, that monster gets booed. So overall, he's really good. And then uh, moving on to the size twos. We play four copies of Dragon Knight of Pizarro. What? You told me right here. This is right here. No, I'm saying move it over just a little bit. There you go. Well, your hands moving this way does not show me. No, they literally did this over and over. Now they're getting this on video in this argument over and over. Anyways, this is the uh, size 2. is a 4-2-4 four, four with the uh, Bloody History uh, ability. You can rest him and draw a card. You can only activate Bloody History once per turn. Um, he's, he's good. He's just a draw engine. Um, then we play three copies of the uh, Ice Prison Emperor Kokaitis Creed. Um, he's a 4-2-4 four, four with a lifelink of 1. When he enters the field, you put a card from your opponent's gauge into the drop zone. And then you put the top card of your deck in your gauge. And then it has the act ability of choose a card on the opponent's field, any card, pay through gauge if you do destroy the card. Um, we mainly use it for our gauge engine. We haven't found a circumstance where we use the actual pay three to blow up something yet, but um, right now he's, he's a good gauge engine. Um, now we play two copies of this new card. This card comes in the secret pack only for the Evolution Mutation set. Um, a Nameless Valkyrie is a size 2, 5, 2, 2. When it enters the field, I can choose a size 3 monster from a drop zone. I'm going to pay one life. If I do, put the, card, the chosen card in my hand. Um, it's good because this deck mills a little bit. It gauges a lot and then... Um, it gauges a lot, so like we lose certain cards, but then if, once we pay the gauge later on, we can get them back. Um, overall, he's good. It just lets us search through the drop zone. We we do play a lot of size threes. I do need a couple of those actually. I have I have some in the binder in the box. I mean, um, I'll get them to you. All right, moving on to size threes. We play two copies of. I cannot actually read this one upside down. Hundred demons, general. 
something. 100 Demons General Stupid. Uh, that's what we'll call him. He's a 7-1-5 with a call cost of pay one gauge. When this card attacks and destroys an opponent's monster or deals damage to your opponent, call it to one size zero Dragon Lord or 100 Demons monster from your deck by paying its call cost and shuffle your deck. And it's got double attack. So this card's really good. We can we can if we don't have anything on the board and we have a lot of gauge and call him, attack their board, do this, go into the uh, Yamageta that we will show you in a minute, and uh, then he just, after we've wiped them of their board for them to get over the Yamageta, they're going to have to call more monsters, which just falls into the Yamageta's Thundermines, which we'll get into that in just a second, but um, he's good, I like him out of Tua. And then uh, we play three copies of uh, General, uh, I'm sorry, Great Great Leader Anson, he's a 9-2-7, pay 2 gauge to call. When this card enters the field, you may call up to one size 2 or less Dark Hero or 100 Demons from your drop zone by paying its call cost. That card becomes a size 0 as long as uh, this card is on the field. He's good. Um, like I said, you toolbox from the drop zone a little bit with this deck, so overall, I like him. He's I haven't had any problems, and every time I've used him, he's always come in handy. Um, and then for our... I guess everybody says their main tank. Uh, Yami Ghetto, we don't rely on him to win, but if we get him, we do normally win, always. Um, inverse Stern Spirit... Uh, it's not really that bad. I'm totally honest. Koju Yamigeto. I probably mispronounced that guy. I'm very sorry. He's a 8 to 8. Uh, call cost. Put one or more monsters from your field in this card's salt and pay 3 gauge. Um, he has a Thundermine ability when a monster enters the opponent's field, deal damage to your opponent. Um, and it's not once per turn, so it'll just constantly stack. Um, and then he has an active ability to choose an opponent, a monster in your opponent's field, and you may discard a 100 demons monster or a card with Omni Lord from your hand if you do destroy the chosen card. He has double attack and soul guard. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this in, just in case you guys didn't know. I know this has the purple Omni Lord text, meaning uh, inverse, but actually this card is errated to where, or it, it's supposed to. I guess it's a It's supposed to be um, any Omni Lord period. So inverse, regular Omni Lord, any of the spells that have Omni, the, the, uh, the impact that's an Omni Lord. You can use any of those cards. Um, we play that as a four of, and then um, we play two tech monsters. The first one is uh, these are our tech Omni Lords. We play the original fifth Omni Dragon Lord Drum. Um, he's a six three five. Can't be called the center. Call cost, uh, pay a gauge for the top card deck in this card's soul. And then it's uh, when you're dealt damage, if your life is six or less, destroy an opponent's monster on, or destroy a monster on the opponent's field and add soul card. Um, it's good. We haven't had to use it yet, but we've had it in our hand, and if we'd actually been forced to use it, we would have, and we would have. It's always come in handy late game. Like we always don't, we never get it until late game. Um, but that's just there in case we need it. We're testing it right now. Now the other one that does always come in handy and always gets played every time I pull it is the Inverse Second Omni Lord uh, Death Osmodi. Uh, he's a fifty thousand three crit, ten thousand defense, size three, call cost, pay two gauge. When this card is destroyed, put top three cards of your deck into your drop zone. Call up the three monsters from among them to separate areas without paying their call cost. He's got Penetrate and Lifelink too. So this is really good. We've actually ripped Yami Ghetto a lot off this. Even more so, we rip the uh, Great Leader Anson, and then we just profit even more because we don't have to pay the two gauge, and then we just call something from the drop zone. Half the time it's the buddy, so we just actually profit even more. We get two gauge back. Um, but so this this card is really good. Um, now that's it for the monsters. We're gonna move on to the items. Uh, we play uh, four copies of the new item that came out of this set. Um, Burst Claw Raijin uh, is a two with two critical. Pay one cost to equip, and then this card can attack even if you have a monster on your center. So it has the, uh, sh I guess the shadow. No, it's not shadow. It just, it just 
it creates another attack. That was a problem. This way you can actually sit on cards in your center and not have to worry about moving them out of the way or destroying them to gain crits like the old ones. I like the old ones too, but this one's better. And then the other effect is nullify the penetrate of all cards on your opponent's field. So this was needed, like severely, because that's Yami Ghetto's like big weakness. Even though we had all the soul in the old deck, we never had a way to stop the penetrate, so we would just still lose. Um, all right, we're gonna start with spells. All right, so first, we're gonna start with our shields. We played four of the new artwork ghetto shield. I have the old artwork, but I do like the new artwork better. Um, so, in case you don't know, you can only cast this card during attack on opponent's turn, and if you have two or more 100 demons on your field, pay one gauge, nullify the attack, and deal the damage to your opponent. This card cannot be nullified. It's a little hefty on the requirements, but the fact that it can't be nullified and it deals the damage, it works. Um, so we play that, actually, we'll just leave that. We play that as a 4-up, and then we play our other shield, uh, 100 Demons, Sorcery, I cannot read this upside down, I'm very sorry, I'm bad at this, guys, so. I'm gonna take it. that's bad, I, I know that's wrong, um, he's, this is the, um, you may only cast this card during attack on opponent's turn if you have a 100 demons on your field counter nullify the attack. It's just our basic nullify. Um, so that's it for the shields. Um, so this is the new spell from this set, the uh, evil deity sorcery or orthodox uh, Mesma. Um, this is the one that uh, you the cast cost is put 300 demons monsters from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck in any order, and choose one of the following two. If you have a monster Yami Ghetto on in its card name on your field, you can nullify the abilities of all monsters on your opponent's field. And then the other is the counter, which is the better. Um, for this turn, all 100 demons on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. You mainly use it for the defensive purpose. If you want to go ham on somebody, you can use it for the other way. Um, leave me at least one copy of these because I'm still testing this. I just cut it down to two today, so... Don't do that low. I'll kill you. Alright, so we played three of this. It's good. Um, and then we played three copies of the, of the old one. Um, Evil Deity Sorcery, uh, why are these words so bad? Codem Moggery, um, this is the one you can only cast if you have a monster with Yami Ghetto and same on your field. Cast cost put up a 300 demon monster from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck in any order. Counter destroy a size 2 or less monster in the opponent's field and you gain one life. Um, I don't use it that much, but it, it is nice to have it defensively. Um, so we play two of uh, the Cataclysmic Invasion. Um, this one's the Pay One Gauge. Choose one of the following two. You can only activate it once per turn. Search your deck for Karuyama Ghetto and its name and put it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Or you can do the other one if you have a monster with Yami Ghetto and its name on your field. You may put a monster from your drop zone into your hand. Um, it's, it's good. We don't rely on it that much because we don't normally need it, but it's there just in case. Um, then we have our 100, the Demon Way 100 Demons spell that you uh, can only cast if you have 6 or less life and have 100 demons on your field. Pay one gauge, draw two cards. Um, so it's our best symphony for the deck. You can only use it once per turn. Um, the last spell is our set spell, Star of the Army Ghetto. Uh, you can only have one of these set on the field at a time. Uh, when a monster on your field is destroyed, the top card of your deck in the gauge. It's not once per turn, so it stacks constantly. Um, then we're going to move on to the last bit, our impacts. We play three copies. <laughs> Of uh, the Ghostly Spirit Yami Ghetto Hunter Demons Thundermine card. Uh, he's a 927. Pay two gauge. Put this card on top of a size 3 monster with Yami Ghetto in its name on your field. Thundermine, when the attack on the card on your field is nullified, if you have another 100 demons on your field, you may deal 2 damage to your opponent. So basically, regardless, if you're going ham to face, if they nullify, you still deal 2 damage. So the only way the nullify would actually profit them is if. Uh, 
they gain life at the same time nullify, and it has double attack and so forth. Yeah, so, um, that's it for this deck video, guys. Uh, this first draft, let me know what you think. Leave some comments. Bye.